All right, so I'm going to uh, help you in this exercise how to how to create a text file. So all you need to do is you need to launch this program called Nano. Nano is a text editor. There are many text editors like Pico, VI, Emacs, and so on. But Nano seems to be the easiest to use out of all these editors. So for now, it, it, uh, this Nano is doing the job of like Notepad, what you do on Windows, or, or, or any other text editor that you use on your local machine. So here, Nano is a text editor. Let me just try to launch this command. It's pretty simple. The command format in Unix is that first one is a command, second one is the argument. So here we are saying that open the Nano and here it will open the text editor. Now since I had already created the file, therefore it opened that, that uh, file as such for editing. Now I have copy pasted this and I am trying to copy paste this into this side. Pressed enter, pressed control X. Now it is prompting me to save this file where I pressed Y and then pressed enter. Right Now you can see that this file is created. There is a command called cat using which you can see whether the file is created or not. Using ls-l, we can take a look at whether the file is created or not. You see that? This file is created as well as the content of this file is here. All right. Once we are done, we can click on submit answer. So it will say that congratulations and that's pretty much it. Now, sometimes you get errors. Say, for example, you are in some other directory. At this point of time, if you try to if you try to create the file, let's say here I, I'm, I'm trying to create this file with the, with the content. Let me just delete, delete this. Let me copy paste this content and then press Control X and I'm saying yes, save the buffer. And uh, there you see that uh, it's uh, asking me to, for the prompt for the file name, I pressed enter. Now I got the error saying permission denied. All right. In such cases, don't save it, come out of it by, by pressing N. Now here, the reason is that your present working directory is slash. It's not your home directory. To go to your home directory, just press CD and enter. And then you can see that present working directory is this. And then everything will work. 